Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn something, an, an example for absolute error as well as relative error. Here we are going to calculate a sum. So we are going to give an input of x is equals to 5 by 7 and y is equals to 1 by 3 for a calculator which is only using 5 digit chopping for those inputs so why is that calculator is five digit chopping is every calculator or computer you are using is going to have a limited storage so let's say if you are giving an input of pi it can't store up to that infinite digits or that infinite digit so what the computer will do is it's going to cut off at some certain points so this is an old calculator let's hope like that so it's going to chop it out after five digits so what we are going to do is so I, we, are, we need to find what's the absolute error as well as relative error for this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a table like this so let's mark the values so first of all we are inputting x and after that we are going to input the y and we need to figure it out what's the value of x plus y so once we click this 5 divided by 7 and click the enter button actually our calculator if you do that in our calculator it's going to return the value of 0 0.71428 however in our question this calculator only using 5 digit chopping so what we are going to do is in this case that this calculator will chop down up to this point after this point so it's going to store only up to 0 0.71428 so since it's using five digit chopping it's going to cut it down after that fifth digit and it's going to store in that calculate the reason is it can't store the whole digits it don't have enough capacity to store them likewise if you Give the value of 1 by 3 and press the equal button in that calculator. In the normal calculator, you are going to get 0 0.3333 like that. But here, it's going to chop it down after this fifth digit. So what we are going to see in that calculator is 0 0.3333. So once we are pressing this add sign to these two, remember the calculator is going to use this value. Since it don't have this value total value since it can't store the total capacity it's only stored it has only stored up to this value so we are going to use this value and we, the calculator is going to use the y value of 0 0.3 up to 55 decimal points and we are going to add them up so here also i'm going to use the calculator 0 0.33333 plus 0.71428 so here we will be getting the answer of 1.04761 but the question is whether the calculator can store this total value in its memory so please pause the video and guess it i hope you have guessed it right actually if you change for this normalized form, it's going to be like this 4761 into 10. Actually, we already noticed that it can only store up to 5 digits, 5 digit chopping. So, here are 6 digits. So, what it will do is he can't store up to those limits. So, what going to do is he are going to chop it out this one first part, the 6 digit, and she's going to finally give the answer of 476 into 10 which is going to be zero sorry it's going to be 1.0476 so this is the value so remember that it will check the five digit chopping it will use five digit chopping in all steps if that if the value exceed that limited storage so here it's having six so it's having infinite digits so it's going to chop it out here it's going to have something more than five digits so it's going to chop it out right guys in this answer if we if they are using these two values the approximated value but the answer is having another digit so it's going to chop it down anyways so finally we got this final answer
but the question is we need to find the true error so i'm sorry so absolute error actually we knew the equation it's going to be true minus approximate so the question is how to find the true value so in the last question also we have learned that when you are finding the true value for this absolute error when we have used pi however when you are using the pi it's an infinite number we are not using the whole value in that true value the reason is actually we don't need that because we are having up to five digit in that approximate value so it's not useful here we don't need to have the infinite number digits for true value so it's enough to have more than five digits it's better to have eight or nine digits so how to find the true value is let's say x is 5 by 7 and 1 by 3 if we do the simplifications we are going to get 15 plus 7 it's going to be 22 divided by 21 so this is a true value so i'm going to write it like this 22 divided by 21 minus 1.0476 so some might get out how to figure it out the value of 22 by 21 i'm going to use the calculator in a time so if i use that i'm going to get up to 10 digits i think it's going to be 1.04761948 this is the true value it's going to continue no i think it's not going to continue like that it's going to be 19048 minus 1.04761948 so if you figured out the answer it's going to be 1.9047 let's cut it down after that if I approximate it's going to be 8 10 to the power minus 5 so this would be the absolute error of this calculation so it's very relatively very small so you can use this calculator it's not a big deal so now we are going to find the relative error part so actually we knew that it's going to be true minus approximate divided by the true so here we knew that difference is going to be 1.9048 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by the actual value it's going to be 22 divided by 21 so here also i'm going to use the calculator again so 21 divided by 22 is going to be 1.8181 it's going to continue and it's going to be 10 to the power minus 5 so actually here also you can see that it's a very small amount 10 to the power minus 5 it's also 10 to the power minus 5 so it's okay to use this calculator for this x plus 5 if you like to do a practice you can find it the relative error and the absolute error if you use the five digit chopping calculator to calculate x into y x into y so i hope you will practice with that some so thank you for watching in the next video we are going to have another interesting question regarding this part thank you for watching